Health officials are asking people to please stay home for this New Year's Eve celebrations, but new video out of Miami makes it appear as though the party there has already started. Yeah, and as we end the near the end of the year anyway, the U.S. set a new record for coronavirus deaths in a single day. That number more than 3,700. News Nation correspondent Brian Enton live for us in Miami tonight to show us how the COVID-19 restrictions there are different from other states. Brian? Yeah, Joe, you know, there's basically no COVID-19 restrictions in Florida, and that is what is attracting partiers from all over the country here. I'm going to step out of the way and show you this because it is just packed full of people tonight on Ocean Drive in South Beach. If you live in a state with COVID restrictions, you're going to be surprised by these images. There are people uh, all over the place. The bars and restaurants and clubs are full tonight, and it is not even New Year's Eve yet. Social media is full of South Florida party videos. Bars and clubs packed with people from all over the country. The crowds spill out into the streets. This video captured partiers even dancing on top of a Miami Beach police car. Just how crazy does it get? I Ubered to Miami Beach to find out, and my Uber driver, Nini, warned that the crowds were already out. They come in here to party. They don't come here just to spend the holidays. They just party. I was home for eight months and um, I came back to drive about a month ago and I took the test already seven times. Seven COVID tests? Yes. Yes. I'm scared because even people sometimes they don't want to wear it in the mask in the car. When we got to South Beach, it was crowded. Iconic Ocean Drive, full of people who traveled here from coast to coast. We from Compton, California. From California? Yeah. And what made you come to Miami? We came to Miami because everything in California is completely closed. When, did you guys just fly in for the weekend? or? We flew in on Thursday um, to relax, but we stayed because everything is open here. Oh yeah, people are coming from all over. We have people I've met from South Carolina, from Texas, but they're not wearing a mask, but they're from all over the place, definitely. Unlike states like California, Illinois, and New York, Florida does not impose COVID restrictions on businesses. Police can't limit how many people are inside a restaurant or bar and can't find people for not wearing masks. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is against restrictions because he says it hurts small businesses. The only COVID related law being enforced is a midnight curfew. I have a midnight curfew. That's why all the restaurants are closed, everything's closed at midnight. Um, so I didn't know that. See? See? Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll go on the sidewalk. Do you feel safe here? Um, yeah. I feel like there's cops everywhere. So. But I mean, in terms of COVID, do you feel safe? I feel like they've been doing a good job of telling people to wear masks um, indoors and like at the restaurants. Miami Beach Mayor Dan Gelber has police officers on the street reminding people to mask up and social distance, but a reminder only goes so far. We were on South Beach the weekend before last, late at night on a Saturday, before the, right before the curfew, and there were people from all over. We were talking to people, they said they came from California, they were coming yep. from the cities with restrictions because they wanted to party and have a good time. H how do you combat that? You know, we, we're doing our best. We, uh, I mean, it's frankly, it's it's a very difficult situation. We're not allowed really to uh, to uh, uh, truly enforce social distancing at a certain level, even in bars, uh, because the governor has prevented us from doing that, and we can't issue fines on individuals who don't wear masks. But we're still, you know, giving out thousands of masks, uh, you know. You know, almost daily to people. Mayor Gelber is not against visitors and says hotels are overall doing a good job requiring masks and providing a safe experience. It's the partiers who are not social distancing that upsets him, and he's worried what New Year's Eve will bring. For it to be a pandemic, it's pretty crowded to me, to be honest. I don't think I would have expected as many people to be here. 
And another live look from South Beach tonight. Iconic Ocean Drive right here along the ocean. Uh, it is just packed tonight. Can you imagine what it is going to look like out here tomorrow night uh, on New Year's Eve? An interesting tidbit here. The percent positive uh, for COVID tests in Florida right now is about 10%. Interestingly, uh, in California, it's about 12%. As we all know, California shut down. You see behind me, uh, Florida definitely not shut down right now. Live in Miami, Brian and 10 News Nation.